I want you to turn to the person next to you um, and discuss this question. Uh, what's something that's really important uh, to you that you've been really excited about in the future? Um, it might be something that you hoped you would get in the future, something that you dreamed um, that you would be. Um, chat to the person next to you. Uh, you got about 20 seconds each, and then I'll bring you back. And time. All right, um, hands up if, you wanna sh if you're brave enough to share your answer with us. Yes, what's your name? Joseph. Joseph, yes. Footy player. Footy player, cool, yeah, yeah. Man, almost after my own heart. Yes, your name first? Oh, Annabelle. I want Annabelle. to be a banana. You want to be a banana. <laughs> uh, what, a, what an impressive life choice. Uh, who wouldn't dream of becoming a banana? And yeah, Lucy. Oh, uh, guys, let's listen to Lucy. Lucy, um, I want to be a singer. My friend over here wants to be a philosopher. Oh my, okay. Sing, singer and a philosopher. That, that's deep. That's deep. Nice. All right. Uh, I will keep going once everyone is listening. There's still, I can still hear a few voices. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'll tell you a bit about my dream. Um, my dream was to be a professional soccer player. So almost, almost. Uh, particularly around the years year six to year eight. Um, I watched my idols play on the big screen uh, and I wanted to be just like them. Uh, I was amazed by their skills. Um, they, they did things that just seemed absolutely impossible to me with the ball. Um, so I'd spent hours and hours just practicing um, in my backyard trying to be just as good as they were. Um, and what a life it would have been though. Like, I'd be traveling around the world, um, playing the game that I love. Um, I had the, I'd have the fame and respect of you all um, because you know just how great I am. Um, and, and I'd have quite a lot of money as well, right? Like playing uh, for one of the best clubs in the world. Um, that was my hope. Uh, that was my dream. Um, and you know, as Christians, uh, we have a hope that is uh, so much more precious than uh, Joseph's hope in becoming a footy player um, or Annabelle's hope in becoming a banana. Uh, or uh, even better than my hope uh, in becoming a professional footballer. And from this talk, um, I want you to know uh, three things. Uh, number one, that our precious hope uh, is bought uh, by precious blood. Um, that, that precious blood demands that you stop living for yourself. And number three, uh, demands that you live by deep love. Um, so at the end of this talk, I want you to see that precious hope demands deep love. All right. First, uh, our precious hope is secured by precious blood. Uh, have a look at verse 13 if you've got a Bible open or phone or whatever. Um, I'll read it out as well. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, Set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. Uh, I'm sure you've been taught uh, that when you see a therefore, uh, you've got to ask uh, what the therefore is there for. Uh, and it's there because of what we learnt last week uh, in the first part of 1 Peter, uh, 1 Peter chapter 1. Uh, you know that if you have been chosen by Jesus, uh, whose identity, um, uh, if your identity is in him, you have a living hope in Jesus. Um, because Jesus uh, died um, and rose from the dead, uh, he gained victory over sin, uh, you know that we now have a certain hope that we too will be raised with him. Uh, our destination is secure um, if we trust in Jesus and Peter wants us to be sure of that, and have a look at, I'll, I'll read to you verses 18 and 19. Uh, For you know that it was not of perishable things uh, like silver or gold uh, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, uh, but the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. 
Uh, now on the screen, I was hoping to have some slides up. Um, yeah, bear with me. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, keep going to a picture of a Barbie doll. Uh, now, when, uh, when an item is going to appear on the screen, uh, I want you to think in your head uh, how much you think that item is worth. All right, and then I'll, and then I'll reveal the answer to you. Okay. Uh, so these, uh, thinking, thinking in your head, thinking in your head, which doesn't involve talking. All right. So how much do you think that is? Hand up. Let's have someone try to give a guess. Yes. Twenty dollars. Yes. Eighteen dollars. Quite precise. Uh, uh, yes. Fifty cents. Fifty cents. Okay. Uh, let's let's see the answer. Five five dollars each. So actually, actually, fifty cents was the closest. So well done. Well done. Uh, next photo. Uh, this beautiful PlayStation 5. Uh, again, uh, thinking in your head doesn't involve talking. Lovely, we're getting it. Uh, we're getting the hit. Uh, yes, Jono. 500? 500, okay. Uh, yes. 799. 799, okay. Uh, and right in the back. Five hundred thousand, apparently. Seven fifty. Yes. Let's let's see the answer. Seven hundred and forty-nine dollars. Someone said seven fifty, so very close, very close. This is according to Big W, apparently. All right. And once everyone's quiet, we'll have a look at the next slide. So this is a teddy bear that this lady is holding. Uh, hands up if you would like to have a guess at how much this teddy bear is worth. Uh, yes. Two million. Two, two million. Two million. Yes. A million point ninety nine. So that's almost two million apparently. You know this is a teddy bear, right? <laughs> Okay, right in the front there. Free, uh, free. Okay, all right. What? One more guess. One more guess. Uh, Jimmy. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay. All right. Uh, sh show me the answer, please, Joel. Three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. My goodness. Yeah. And next. This, this beautiful flower. It's so beautiful. All right. Uh, in the back. Yeah, yeah, you. $900, $900. Yes, the, the philosopher. Yes. Nature deserves to be free. Nature deserves to be free, but this bit of nature has a price. Um, yes, in the back. $40, $40, yes. Infinite money, infinite money, that's a lot of money, yes. 950,000, I'll have one more, one more guess. Uh, yes, Elijah. 950,000 and one dollar. All right, um, and uh, could I get a drum roll for the big reveal? Seven million dollars. Uh, so, someone was thinking something over here. Uh, one million. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. And the final, the final picture. <laughs> That's actually a trick question because I'm not going to ask for an answer for that one. <laughs> we'll get back to that. All right. And once everyone is quiet, we'll continue with the talk.
All right. Thank you so much for your involvement. You're a, you're a great, great guest in my game show. All right. Uh, you know that Peter, Peter actually wants us to know that the hope that we have in Jesus is worth so much more than anything that money could buy. Um, more precious than silver and gold, like the verse says. Um, if, there, if, there was a, a right, uh, if there was a way to be right without Jesus uh, dying on the cross, um, if we could just throw a bit of money um, to be right with God for all the times that we disobeyed him um, and decided to live life our own way, um, Jesus wouldn't have had to die for us. Um, but the cost for our rebellion against God isn't money, um, but death. Um, and how much is Jesus' uh, precious blood um, that he spilt on the cross to pay um, for our sins? Um, that is, it's priceless. It's priceless, right? Um, so we have um, this precious hope um, that's, bought, that's bought by precious blood. Um, but what do we do with that hope? Um, this precious hope uh, that we have demands a response, um, demands a change in our lives. Um, the precious hope we have uh, demands that we stop living for ourselves um, because that doesn't last. Uh, and verse 14, um, that, that'll be on the slides. Uh, As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. Um, before you had this hope, uh, you, used, uh, you used to choose to live for yourself, um, but that was in ignorance, according to the verse. You didn't know any better. Uh, and chapter 2, verse 1, this is what living for yourself looks like. Um, next slide, Joel. Uh, so, therefore, rid yourself of all malice. Uh, so, that's the desire to cause someone pain rather than do them good. Um, and all deceit, uh, to lie and fit in uh, rather than to be honest and suffer. Uh, hypocrisy, to say one thing uh, but do another. Uh, people pleasing rather than God pleasing. Uh, envy, desiring what others um, have rather than being content with what God has done for you. Um, and slander um, of every kind. Uh, using your words to talk down on people uh, rather than using them to build them up. Uh, and back to verse 18. Uh, the way of life that's been handed down to us, uh, it's empty. Uh, it lacks substance. Uh, it doesn't fulfill uh, nothing, um, nothing where our hope is apart from Jesus fulfills. All right. Uh, and check out this beautiful flower. Uh, it's pretty, right? It's pretty. Uh, it's actually a real flower. It's actually a real flower. Um, it's, uh, the leaves are so bright, so very white, the stems are still so green, it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. Um, but we all know what happens with flowers. They die. Yep. Uh, the, the petals, the petals start to fall, uh, the, the leaves don't quite look as white as they used to look, uh, and eventually, eventually they die. Um, oh, and I, I had some dead flowers as well. Not, not quite as beautiful as well. Not quite as beautiful. Yeah. All right, and also, uh, next slide. This is a, a video of my, my friend Leo, um, who has the same boots as me. Um, maybe he'll eventually get there. Um, but his boots are like real clean. They're like a beautiful blue, like the blue of that bag. Um, right there, they are. They're what my boots used to look like in their prime condition. Uh, they're a clean glacier blue, um, and I, I reckon almost as blue as a clear sky. That's how blue they are. Um, that's that's what my boots look like. Um, if you could jump to the next slide so we could cut the, the video. Um, this, is, uh, this is what my boots look like now. They're, uh, they're pretty beautiful, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, they they used to be blue, but now they're just covered in dirt. Yeah, and and my shoes, they've they've actually started to talk as well. They're, they're disconnected from the soles. Uh, it's 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 not beautiful. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. Um, uh, over time, uh, the leaves they'll begin to fall off. Uh, over time, my beautiful boots will start to talk. Um, and uh, controversially over time, uh, the joy experienced by playing games like Roblox or Minecraft, that, that will fade as well. Um, you know, that uh, strong desire to uh, fit in uh, with the kids around you as well. Um, uh, you know, where you change your personality uh, to be more like um, all the things that we talked about before in um, chapter 2, verse 1. Um, over time, um, the approval of people at school, of friends, um, that'll fade as well. Um, or even good things like doing what, uh, what your parents tell you to do, but uh, doing them purely uh, so that your parents will be happy with you uh, when you, uh, uh, yeah, where you are looking for your approval or uh, from your parents, that'll, that'll fade as well. Uh, because none of those things really last forever. Um, and what once was our hope, uh, where, where we saw our satisfaction or pleasure, uh, fulfillment from, uh, that'll all eventually fade as well. Uh, so we have this precious hope um, that was bought by precious blood. Um, it demands that we stop living for ourselves because that just doesn't last. Uh, then how, how should we live? Uh, th this precious hope uh, that we have demands that we live uh, by love. Um, and not just any love, deep, sincere love. Uh, check out verse 22, which is already on the screen. Uh, now that you have purified yourselves from obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. Uh, now Peter says that you have purified yourselves through obedience uh, by obeying the truth. Does that mean uh, that to be purified from our sins, um, uh, from the way we've rejected God, um, we've got to do good things? It, uh, well, it, it also says in verse 14 as well that uh, we're to be obedient children. Uh, but no, it doesn't. Um, it, it's because of uh, the precious hope that Jesus has secured for us. Um, it wasn't by money, um, not by obedience, and not by, uh, but it was by love shown as Jesus shed his precious blood on the cross. Um, but there is a close relationship between love and obedience. Uh, we've been saved by grace um, and we now want to live uh, a life that pleases God um, because we have God's spirit in us. Uh, and obedience to God is actually just doing the things that, uh, that please God rather than uh, the things that grieve Him. Uh, so we show that we love God by doing the things that make Him happy. Uh, how do we know what pleases God? Uh, that's through God's Word. Uh, now, now that we believe in Jesus, our life is shaped by God's good Word, uh, which tells us more and more about this precious hope that we have and how we can love others uh, so, that they look more, so that we look more and more like Jesus. Uh, and that's God's plan for us, that we would be holy, uh, which means set apart, uh, set apart to be God's chosen people um, who look more and more like God, uh, like uh, the God who chose them. And what could it look like to live deeply for you? Uh, it could look like obeying your parents, not because you have to or for your uh, parents' approval, uh, but out of love because you know it would put a smile on God's face. Uh, or maybe, uh, maybe Elijah will choose not to blend in with the friends at school who are mucking up. Um, instead, do what uh, he knows pleases God. Um, I've heard lots of ways uh, that our precious hope uh, in Jesus has led to deep a deep love uh, for one another. Uh, I've, I've heard of youth um, who've so captured this, just, um, just how precious uh, uh, their hope in Jesus is, um, that they've invited other youth to youth group, which is incredible. Um, and it'd be great if you did that as well. 
um, on the bring a friend night as well. Um, Cause ultimately we want our friends to share the same hope that we have in Jesus as well. Uh, and I've heard uh, instead of using um, words to tear each other down, uh, that there have been uh, youth that have written encouragement letters to each other. Um, if you're at the launch camp, um, there are lots of you that wrote encouragement letters to your friends uh, and to some of your leaders as well. Um, and that's a great way to build each other up uh, rather than tearing each other down. Um, I've heard um, some of you who've um, seen some kids who are um, new to youth group and really nervous to be here, um, but you welcomed them uh, well. Um, and even invited them along to church and to G-teams as well. Um, I'd love to uh, encourage you to continue to do those things, um, to continue to love um, one another well, um, and to um, show that that precious hope that you have in Jesus changes your life. Um, but maybe you haven't been feeling uh, the love, and maybe you haven't been welcoming others at youth, um, but you've been staying with your friends where it's nice and comfortable. Um, or maybe you haven't been encouraging other people with your words, but you've been bullying them and picking on others. Um, maybe you're just putting your hope in things that really don't last. Um, here today, go on tomorrow. Um, why do you think this might be? Uh, do you need to immerse yourself back into the Word uh, to see just how good Jesus is uh, and just how precious our hope in Jesus is? Uh, because if you capture just how incredible it is uh, that we have life through Jesus instead of death uh, like we deserve, then you, um, probably uh, your life um, hasn't changed as well. Uh, but God has lavished uh, upon us His love uh, through sending his only child uh, to die in our place uh, so that we can be his friends. And because of Jesus' precious blood spilt for us, we have a precious hope. Uh, and that precious hope demands that we stop living for ourselves. Uh, it doesn't last. Uh, but precious hope demands deep love. And that's what lasts. Let's pray. Um, dear Father, thank you that we have a precious hope of life with you and that he has secured uh, that by your, uh, by your priceless sacrifice on the cross. And we pray that you help us through your spirit uh, to allow this precious hope to move us to deep love for others. And we pray all this in your name. Amen.